All right, so we'll get started with RoboLab here, uh, do our first program. Um, I'll do uh, one sample uh, here, and then we'll show you the videos of each of the sample programs, how the robots should operate uh, in, in class, and you'll be able to review them before class. So here we go. Let's get started with RoboLab 2.9. Um, the main menu pops up, and uh, we'll select Programmer. And we're going to select Inventor 4 here. We select Inventor 4 because it provides you all the uh, available um, controls to use. So I'll double click that. And several windows open up here, including the toolbox that we'll uh, get to use here. Uh, our uh, uh, main uh, controls page, actually, if we scroll up here, it's the data logging and motors is the root menu. And we'll, get, we'll start from here for all of our programming. Uh, this front panel, panel menu is a background uh, program that's running and we won't use it much. Our main uh, section will be this block diagram and so we'll uh, set this up to take up most of the screen here and we'll get started. And I'll rearrange things a little bit so we have our tools available to us. Now first thing to talk about is the toolbox. Um, selecting this green, activating this green button here um, allows it to automatically choose uh, the tools for us. It does a pretty good job at it, but in general the options are the position size and select tool allows you to move things around, uh, delete things, um, and the next tool is the um, edit text tool. And So anytime you want to edit a numeric constant or add comments to the um, program, which I'll be looking for you guys to do, uh, you want to use this tool. And finally, when it comes to connecting the block diagram, uh, the block elements together, and make your, making your program work, you'll use the connect wire tool. So uh, we'll use that, and I'll show you examples of that here. So I'm going to grab the select tool and uh, spread out our uh, end stop sign and uh, our beginning uh, go green go signal. Um, we're going to make our, pro our robot go forward first. So we want to go over to our data logging and motors menu, select the motor A forward command, and drag one over here. Oops, I need to choose the select tool like that. There we go. Drag it over. If you drop it nearby, it'll automatically connect. Uh, if you reviewed the pictures of our robots that we're going to use, they are attached to motors A and C. So we'll grab motor C. And so this allows our program to tell motor A and C to get started rolling. Um, the next thing we want to do is tell it for how long. In our data logging and motors menu, there's a submenu called wait for. If we click on that, it uh, gives us several options for time, and the one I like to use that's variable is this in over 100 symbol here. So we'll grab that and pull it out here, and uh, we're going to have to add a, a modifier to this here, but we'll get to that. Now that we've uh, told it, we're going to tell it how long, we also need to tell it what to do after that, which is stop. And so since we want to stop more than one motor uh, output, we're going to grab the ABC stop, and that'll stop everything. Um, uh, let's add our modifier now, and so modifiers are in a menu off the main menu uh, with the A and the 1 on it. So we'll go into this menu and you'll find lots of options, but the one we want is this numeric constant. We want to add a number to this. Now, um, our program's not complete. If you look in the upper left hand corner, you'll see a broken arrow, and so that means we can't program it yet. And so what's happening is we are missing some lines, and so we're going to grab the connect wire tab. We're going to connect from the output of the stop sign to the input or begin of the uh, stop signal. Now, we also have not connected this um, numeric constant to the wait command. Um, so that gets us, if you look in the upper left hand corner again, a nice ready to run program. So when we're ready to program it, we're going to click this button right here. We have one change to make. I'm going to select the edit text tool and I want this to run for one second. So I'm going to put a hundred, hundredths of a second and it is ready to program. And so I'll show you the action of programming here. Um, I've got a robot ready to program. I'm going to select this and we'll see the uh, menu come up and, and run. It's thinking a little bit, uh, setting up communication with the robot. And there it goes. It's uh, programming it. It runs a little beep and we're all done. So that program is ready to run. Uh, you'll be checking that program uh, out in the videos that are associated with this video. So uh, review all the videos uh, and uh, complete your quiz before class.